heating a container. An ideal monatomic gas is placed inside a sealed container. The container is made of a special material with an unusually high coefficient of volume expansion of 3 times 10 to minus 2 per degree Celsius and its volume increases linearly with temperature. The container is heated from a temperature of 27 degrees Celsius to a temperature of 327 degrees Celsius. The container and the gas are in thermo thermodynamic equilibrium throughout the process. Find the ratio of final pressure to initial pressure, P final over P initial. Find the ratio of final internal energy to inter initial internal energy, E final over E initial. So we have thermal expansion of the uh, container, uh, delta V is equal to beta times V initial delta T. And in the problem statement, it is given that the volume increases linearly with temperature. So this is valid. So we have final volume minus initial volume is equal to beta is 3 times 10 to minus 2 per degree Celsius. Uh, the change in temperature is T final 327 minus 27 times V initial. So we find that this is going to be 300 times 3, 900, 10 to minus 2, V initial. So this will be 9 V initial. You can see a huge change here. So we, we're going to get a final volume, V final, uh, V initial plus 9 V initial, it will be equal to 10 V initial. Now, the initial temperature, T initial, is 27 degrees Celsius plus 273 gives us 300 Kelvin. And final temperature is 327 degrees Celsius plus 273 gives us 600 Kelvin. So this is an ideal gas, therefore it obeys the ideal gas law. P initial, V initial is NRT initial, which is 300 Kelvin. P final, V final, which is 10 V initial is NR 600 Kelvin. So if we take the ratio of these two equations, uh, we can obtain P final divided by P initial is equal to uh, 0 0.2. So we will we will be dividing uh, this equation by from this equation. So uh, 600 divided by 300 gives us uh, 2. Uh, that will be 10 P final over P initial. So P final over P initial will be 0 0.2. Now part B, uh, the internal energy of a monatomic ideal gas is given by 3 over 2 nRT because from equipartition theorem, we only have translational degrees of freedom of the center of mass, which gives us for three quadratic terms, one half mvx square plus vy square plus vz square, each giving us half a kt, three over two kt. Uh, so three over two capital N kt is the internal energy or three over two number of moles times universal gas constant times absolute temperature is the internal energy of a monatomic ideal gas. And if we look at the final internal energy to initial internal energy ratio, E final over E initial, this will be basically because we have the same number of moles, T final divided by T initial. Since and the number of moles does not change. 
So we find that E final over E initial is final temperature 600 Kelvin divided by initial temperature 300 Kelvin. So this gives us a final answer E final over E initial is equal to 2. So we have talked about an ideal monatomic gas that is inside a sealed container where the container uh, will expand uh, with increasing temperature in a linear fashion. The coefficient of volume expansion is given 3 times 10 to minus 2 per degree Celsius. So from delta V equals beta V initial delta T where beta is 3 times 10 to minus 2 per degree Celsius, we obtain 9V initial as delta V, so V final is 10V initial. So the initial temperature is 27 degrees Celsius, which is 300 Kelvin. Final temperature is 327 degrees Celsius, which is 600 Kelvin. Since this is an ideal gas, it obeys the ideal gas law. 10P final V initial equals NR600. Uh, divided by P initial V initial equals NR300, we find 10 P final over P initial is 2, so P final over P initial is 0 0.2. The internal energy of a monatomic ideal gas is 3 over 2 NRT, where N is number of moles, R is universal gas constant. Because the number of moles doesn't change, R is a constant, we just take the ratio of the temperatures to find the ratio of internal energies and 600 divided by 300 gives us 2.